What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for some more WWE Supercar stuff. In this episode, we got Women's Giants Unleashed making his debut. We also got the rewards, my tips for all of you guys, and the undercards and so forth, and information about the new pack in the store. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, smash the like button. Let's hit 150 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're about 20-something subscribers away from 20,000. Thank you guys so, so much for the continuing support you guys are giving me. I appreciate all of you and love you so, so much. And if you subscribe and have your YouTube public, you will make the next list of legends like these guys over here. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, showing your support. You want to be on the next list of legends? Subscribe and make sure you're public and you'll be right there for me. So guys, Women's Giant Unleashed is finally here, guys. The first ever Women's Giant Unleashed. And for all of you who have seen, the rewards is, of course, Nikki Bella. Uh, again, wouldn't be my choice, but there she is. Now this card will be destroying Natalia. This card will destroy Natalia, depending on what version you get, the heroic, half heroic. I'd say if you get a half heroic, you're, you're going to kill pretty much every Natalia out there. However, single and F3 Natalia will be able to beat this. However, price comparison is going to be way cheaper to get this card. So it makes more logical sense to put most of your money into this card. Or no money at all, to be honest, depending on how your deck is. And I'll get into that information really, really soon. So another, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering what the rewards are. So we got Lacey Evans, which is a pro for me. We do have Beth Phoenix, which is an F2. And then we got a Vanguard Maurice as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, if you guys want to know what the heroic side is, I do have that for you. So these are the heroic side for you. Boom, there you go. We got Ronda Rousey, which is an F3 for me. Bianca is only a single for me, which I'm cool with. And then, of course, the heroic. Now, as you can see, the points in this is the standard, regular Giants Unleashed. They didn't lower the points. And I know a lot of you guys have really, really bad decks and would want my advice on stuff. So, I'll get into that real quick. Uh, I do want to share to you guys, this is actually the brand new pack in the store, Climbing the Ladder. As you can see, you get some amazing, cool money in the bank cards along the way. Uh, you do get Delta... And you even get Omega as well if you go to the end. Now, all the cards, if you buy all the packs, it will cost you roughly around 6,200 credits. It's pretty expensive, not going to lie. However, the last remaining pack, you get a guaranteed money in the bank from uh, this WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, and the TLC one. Which I guarantee no one bought the TLC ones because it was crap. So... Yeah, I don't think anyone cares about the Vanguard, but the Royal Rumble ones and the WrestleMania... You get a single Money in the Bank card, and uh, you also get a gear. So honestly, guys, it's not terrible if you go for this, uh, but it, it is 6,200 credits, so be, be wise on that. So now let's talk about Giants Unleashed, because I know a lot of you always give me questions. Add my WrestleMania, I'm top eight in WrestleMania, uh, but I'm Primal, I'm Nightmare, and I'm Vanguard in my Giants Unleashed deck. What can I do? What do I need? Strategies, tips. Let me go ahead and give you that strategy and tips right now. So, if you're in a weak division, getting these rewards are honestly going to be way easier for you. Uh, because not many people in like Primal Nightmare have are going to go hard for this. However, as you can see, you get a lot of stuff. You get two females if, you, if we do defeat it. And 4,000 Delta which is pretty much half of a Christian card. So people will be going ham for this. But if you're in the weaker divisions, it will be easier for you to obtain the top rewards compared to anyone else in the lower divisions or in the higher divisions like myself, who's in WrestleMania. So that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, top four, you get a female, two females between Royal Rumble and WrestleMania and 2000 Delta, which is still good as well, top 10. But again, people are gonna be going ham on this. So guys, I would not focus so much on like spending all your money just to get this unless you really, really are desperate. But remember, a lot of people will be spending a shitload for this top 10 to 50 rewards. So brace yourselves if you see the prices going up. Just stick with Nikki Bella and getting the heroic if that is your main goal. Now, that's a tip if you're going for the top of the leaderboards. Now, 
points wise i don't know how it's going to affect you as someone like me in like wrestlemania tier i'll be probably getting a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand points every game i play if you're nightmare primal you might be making 50 to a hundred thousand making it more extremely difficult for you to get to the top that's why i'm a little confused on why supercard didn't you know try to help people out in this giants unleashed by making the points a little lower i think maybe 50 60 million would have been more ideal but again it is supercard so no no easy roads again so yeah guys just do the best you can after de after defeating one giant you'll pretty much know how much you have to spend how much you don't have to spend after the first giant you will know everything you need to know so my tip is take your time see what you see your scores and you'll pretty much know but anyways guys that would do it for today's video i hope you all enjoy these tips and tricks that i can give you for giants unleashed good luck to everyone out there have fun and uh happy gaming